my god. Hey fam, in case you've seen this face for the very first time, I am the celebrity radiographer and on today's series, I will show you how to carry out a step-by-step -step brain scan using the GE 1.5 Tesla MRI machine. Hello guys, it's your one and only celebrity radiographer and on today's series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to carry out a routine brain MRI on the GE 1.5 Tesla. So. Let's go to the patient and prepare the patient for the examination. I have here my colleague, so she's going to be my patient for today. Um, so come, please. So we're going to assess her weight first before we take her inside for the examination. So you climb here. Mm. Okay, that's 55. Okay, you can come down. Okay, so you're going to take off your earrings first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, come this way. No, don't leave it on. You can leave it on. So, um, I'm going to position her right now. So, I'm going to take off the mic because it's not really going to work in there. Right now, so please just hold the mic for me, please. So, um, as we all know, the MRI scan always makes a very loud noise so i'm going to put in some earpiece for her to help reduce the noise and i'm going to connect it to the music um, player out there to play some music for her while we're doing the examination <laughs> So these are some of the cases we have with um, claustrophobic patients. They usually feel this way. So I'm going to the center to so set up set up over here.
So we are done positioning her. So right now I'm going to register her details and then I'm going to commence the examination. So you can bring the camera close. I'm going to enter her name here. So I'm just going to enter test. And then I'll enter the MR number. And then her weight was 55. I'm going to enter the weight here. Her age is um, 20. She's a female. So we're carrying out a brain examination. Enter it here. Operator. So I'm not going to select this random because we don't want them to report it, but I'm going to enter you want a routine case. I'm going to enter the radiologist's name and other details here that we can fill up. So we're just going to proceed to protocols and then move down to our routine brain here. <clears throat> And accept. Start examination. Accept. And then we'll check if our call is the right one. So I'm using an express head neck array call by G, and I'm using the NV array. So this is the one I want to use for the brain. So I'm okay with the call come over to this place and then I'll see. I want to take the localizer or the scout. Save it and scan. So the total time for the whole sequences we have here is going to take 15 minutes, 21 seconds. It also depends on the extent to which I plan it also. So we are done taking our localizer. I'm just going to double click on this XL. Fast recovery, fast spin echo. So I'm just double clicking on it and it's going to bring out our localizer. So we want to plan for XL. So on MRI, this is our XL um, scan here. You don't plan on XL, you either plan on sagittal or coronal. So I'm going to place I'm going to click here. So this is it. And this is showing you the field of view, the region in which you want to scan. So I'm going to place my slices in the orientation of the head. So since the head is bending this way, I'm going to follow that same orientation also. So when I come to the Corona tool, same thing. I want to follow the orientation and keep it in the midline. So if I come to the XR also, Still the same thing, I want to angulate it to that orientation of the head. And then make sure that the head is in between the field of view. You can see the distance here to here is equal. So that's what we we'll try to do. So once I'm done with that, so right here you can see there's two and two. So that's just to tell you that it's connected to this one here that I am planning currently. So once I save this, these and these will also be saved. So I'm going to save it now. So I can click on auto scan and it will start scanning immediately. So in order for me to see the scans that are, that are being done, I'll just come over here and click on auto view and then it's going to start showing me the scans that are being done. So if the patient is moving or there's any kind of um, sh um, body uh, shake and all that, I'll be able to know from this particular side here and I'll be able to repeat the examination. So I'll click on auto scan and it will start scanning. So next I'm going to plan for 3D East one. So it's also an axial scan, yeah? So I'm not going to plan on the axial plane. I'm coming to the sagittal. So 
So either way you want to plan it on brain majorly you want to start scanning from the base of the skull down to the vertex so i can decide to turn this this way and bring in number one down here or i can leave it the other way that it is but within the brain you want to scan from the base upward so i'm going to follow the orientation just as i did for the other sequence orientation of the skull of the brain rather so it's good to, I'm going to save this also so I'm going to come to our DWI and I'm going to click so on the DWI you just want the brain tissue and you don't want air within your scan so the sinuses is not something you want inside of it because it's going to give you some kind of like a artifact so you want to clear it off so cover it this way so we just get only the brain tissues and all. So this thing you're seeing here right now is due to this angulation. That's why you're seeing that it's not appearing in full here, like this. So if for any reason I angulate it backward, straight, you see that it will come back. So it's because I angulated it, that's why that split is appearing this way, like that. Keep it the same way, so in the midline, and I'll save, and I'll come to my Corona now. So I won't plan on the Corona plane. I'll either plan on the sagittal or on the axial plane. And still, I'm still going to follow the orientation of the head. Place it in the midline. I'll do the same thing here also. Place it in the midline and I'll save. Then lastly, I'll come to the sagittal. So I won't place the sagittal here. I won't plan on the sagittal plane. I'll either plan on the corona or on the exile plane. Let's click. So in case you're always um, having uh, issues identifying the right place you're supposed to um, place your lines of cuts, just know that this box here should be in your region of interest. So if you are to plan for sagittal, always expect your box to be within sagittal. If I'm to plan for corona, I will always expect to see this box on corona. That's to tell me that I'm doing the right thing. So here also we're going to angulate also to follow the orientation of the head. So I will angulate it this way also. So this is covering the whole brain. I'm okay with it and I'll save it. So guys, that's a, a quick summary of how you can plan for a for a routine brain MRI. So all we just have to do now is to wait for the examination to complete and then we'll go in and bring out the patient. So I'm actually playing um, um, Kiss String for her. It was some preference she chose. So actually in there, this is the particular song she's listening to right now. So all this sound you're hearing from here right now, is actually the sound that's coming from inside the machine. So in order to reduce this particular sound from the machine, that's why we provide earplugs to reduce this sound. And um, whenever a patient uh, requests for music to be played, 
you can play the preferred uh, choice of music for them. So done with the examination. You can see here, yeah? done, 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 done. So that's all for the examination. So all I have to do right now is to go in there and bring her out from the country. So I will just come to this place and click on end examination. That's all guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment and also share this video with your friends, colleagues and loved ones. See you guys. Take care.